What up, what up? Winbush here, and um, today I wanted to give you a quick tip. I posted up a video yesterday about getting the free NASA 3D models, and then someone this morning, about an hour ago, Dennis just asked, how do you convert these materials to Redshift so you can use them in there? It's a real easy solution, so let's get right into it. Let's show me how, or let me show you how to do it. So I have my blank Cinema 4D canvas here. I'm gonna go to my file here actually let me show you which one i'm using so if i go back to my youtube description link click on the link and i'm going to use this one here the space shuttle so i already have it downloaded and then once you download it and unzip it these are the files that you get so you get an obj and then it gives you a folder with all the materials here so what i'm going to do is take my obj bring it into my canvas here just click ok wait for everything to come into cinema 40 there we go and this is how it's going to come in and this is with auto models there and even on turbo squid it will do this too so what you need to do is you go over to window come down to texture manager and then these are the materials that it's looking for here so you'll just select all of these right click and you'll have to relink them so hit relink textures and then just look for the folder that your stuff was in, which mine was in Space Shuttle. So you click OK, and then you'll get green check marks whenever your materials are linked up. So now, if I hit Render, we have everything here, but it's all transparent. And I don't know why it does that, but if you look at our materials down here, let me drag this up. Everything is transparent here, so you could just select all of them, and then go over to your Material window, click on Basic, and then click off transparency. And now everything is the way it should be in here. And so now to convert it over to Redshift, we just wanna make sure that all of our stuff is selected here. You wanna come over to, where's the Redshift? Redshift, and then come down to materials, and then come down to conversion. Now you have a couple of options here. You can convert your selected materials, you can convert all materials. Um, I'm gonna just click convert all materials and you'll give it a second. It's gonna say starting redshift. It's gonna convert everything over to a redshift material. Now it doesn't delete your original material. It leaves it there as well. So what you're gonna have to do is anything that says RS in front of it, that's your redshift material. And so I'm on PC. I'm gonna left click on my redshift material and I'm gonna hold down alt on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna left click and drag over the um, corresponding material here. So once you do that, then it's gonna replace it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. So it says RS body mat. Find the other one that says body mat. Okay, so I'm gonna replace this. I'm gonna alt, hold down alt on my keyboard, left click, drag, and do the same thing with my glass mat. Alt, left click, drag. And there we go. Now our ship is, um, it has auto redshift materials on there. If I go up into my settings, set this over to redshift. And then I'm gonna just leave everything at default for now. Let me look at my render viewer, click play. And there we go. Now everything is how it should be in redshift materials. So let me say like I bring in a dome light. Let me get an HDR. Let me just get this one. This is dramatic. I'm gonna drag this over here. Turn off the background. So now we have a redshift dome light lighting our spaceship here. So that's all there is to it. And one other thing, you could, um, you'll see that it has like a high gloss on the ship here. So what you'll wanna do is click on one of your materials. You can double click on it. And then under your, um, you can either go to edit shader graph or you could do it straight from your material editor. But you'll wanna go to where it says wrist shift material and look for your reflections. And then you'll just wanna drag this down to an appropriate level. Cause it's gonna make all your materials really shiny if it had a reflectance on it from Cinema 4D. So you just drag them down like so. So this is how you do it in the material editor, or you can go to your edit shader graph, 
click on your race shift material and then turn down your reflection here. So now let me click play again. And there we go. So it just has a little bit of reflection on there. And that's basically how you convert your Cinema 4D materials over to Redshift. So hopefully that helped you out. If you have any more questions like that, please let me know. I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. As always, thank you guys. I mean, I just passed a thousand subscribers yesterday. So I want to thank you guys again for supporting the channel. Tell your friends all about what I'm doing here, you know, and tell them to subscribe and always click that like button. And until next time, keep creating. And thank you guys again. I appreciate everything. Talk to you later.